Sacred Heart School has been educating the children of North Omaha for over a hundred years. But like many schools in the eastern half of our city, it has been impacted by socioeconomic change. When Sacred Heart School faced a turning point in the mid-70s, one visionary stepped forward to ensure its survival, John Kennefick. He recognized the changes that were occurring at Sacred Heart School. Originally, this was a parish school that was funded by family paid tuition and parish support. Over the years, however, the demographics had changed. Most students were not only non-Catholic, but also seriously disadvantaged, both economically and socially, many coming from single parent homes and badly in need of help. In collaboration with then Archbishop Daniel Sheehan, John spearheaded a group of Omaha businessmen to financially support the school, but he knew that getting the business community to support the Catholic Church would be tough. He knew he had to create a structure to support needy children, a structure that would appeal to business and the general public, and which just happened to be an elementary school run by the Catholic Church. It was a mission he took a hold of. While the mission of Q's was originally centered on fundraising, it has evolved into also helping find the best ways to educate Sacred Heart students. Well, we have the largest percentage of families living under the poverty line of all the Catholic schools in Omaha. And so obviously our kids come to us with many, many obstacles. Uh, from, you know, uh, little food in the house, they come to us hungry. Some of them are moving between houses even throughout the night because somebody, they might start at auntie's house and then end up at another relative's house and before mom or dad can pick them up after their second or third job. Um, so there's, you know, the, um, the sleep deprivation that we also are faced with. And some kids are awakened in the middle of the night by gunshots, that happens often. And we've had children who have been witnesses to murders, some of them their own relatives. Uh, so they, they come with so much uh, on their minds and, and things weighing heavily on their hearts every day. Creating a teaching environment where these students can thrive lies in the hands of school staff along with the help of the Q's Board of Directors. They have worked together to find ways to help these students learn. We, uh, however, implement a unique methodology so that we can introduce some rhythmic patterns for, uh, to help our, our children learn and also a lot of repetition, which we find helps with retention, retaining information. Is linking verb. Skill check. Linking verb. Check again. The Shirley English methodology introduces jingles, a lot of rhythmic patterns, so that our children are learning the parts of speech and how to diagram a sentence and then apply that to their writing. But all of this methodology would mean nothing without the heart and soul of each classroom the teacher. It takes a truly gifted individual to teach at Sacred Heart School. When I think of our teachers, I think of them as individuals who definitely feel that this is their calling, this is their mission in life. Um, they come every day and you ask any one of them, they will tell you that the reason they come here would be for the children. They absolutely love working with our kids. And, and that is where they find the rewards. They know the kind of obstacles that our children come to us with, and I think that they themselves see that they have gifts um, given by God that they can share with these children to help them be successful in life. My favorite thing about Sacred Heart School is the teachers and staff because they help you succeed in life, and if you need help, they'll help you right away. I really like how the teachers really support you and how we all work as a team together to get through school and our education. Because I love the teachers and I love them to teach. I love my kids. I love coming to work every day. I think they come to us with um, open hearts and um, they want to learn, they want to do well. They want to learn to be better people. Um, they want structure in their lives. They like the discipline. Um, and they're just happy to be here. And it just makes me feel so good to be part of their lives. Every dollar that Q's raises 
every board meeting that Q's holds, the focus is always on the children of Sacred Heart School. Our kids are up against a lot. And when we can help them to have a, a foundation and an awareness of who they are as children of God, that, that they're gifted and that they're good and that, um, and that we're hopefully setting a Christian example. My goal in life is to my God given talents in response to God's love by serving others. I was better than So what amazes me is how very resilient they are. Out of all the years that I've been an educator, I've never met such resilient kids. And um, it truly amazes me how they can just kind of set aside those obstacles for a day and just focus on learning. I probably would like the Mantic program the most because it's, it gives us a chance to go out into the community and meet different people and get us familiar with the workplace and how you have to carry yourself as a as an adult in your profession. Stay in school, don't do drugs, um, good, good grades, and try to be on ACE honor roll all year like I did. My favorite thing about Sacred Heart School is we get to have a basketball team and all the teachers and students come to support us like in the championship game when we won, there was a lot of teachers and students. They show spirit in our basketball team. Just don't try to fit in with other kids. Just be who you are and don't change yourself. Because we get along well and we've been together for so long, depending on when you started, and you build up as like a family and become together as one. This collaboration between Q's its board members, and the staff of Sacred Heart School is giving children the opportunity to rise up out of poverty. We have awesome results. Um, we've, we, can, we can show them that our kids are going on a path that's going to take them to great places. Um, I, you know, I always appreciate it on the front of the school. We have that Dr. Seuss saying, I made that a few years ago and hung it out there. Oh, the places you will go. And our kids, um, I, I, people in our community believe, because we have programs that are in place that have proven to work well with inner city kids, and I believe in what we're doing because there's so much, so many people that are so committed to seeing to uh, that happening, that, that, we're, uh, that we're making a big difference. And it was all started by a man who ran the great big rolling railroad, who took an interest in some kids who needed his help. He took so much interest and had such a, a heart for what we were about. And, and he wanted, um, he, he really wanted to make a difference in children's lives who otherwise wouldn't have, um, have the opportunities. Then, and, and he knew how important education was. One railroad man put Sacred Heart School on the right track to success.